Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY, I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. Time for the Sign Wednesday Challenge, hosted by Leany over at Crafty Leany and Diane and Janny over at Deco Easy. This one is quick and easy. I cut two 6 inch boards to 26 inches long and with my silhouette I cut my vinyl lettering. Family is everything. I'll be using Ceramco chalk paint and whipped cream and raven, better known as black and white. The supplies I used as well as the fonts will be in the description box. So I base coated my boards with whipped cream. Once dry, I apply my lettering. I used to hand paint all my signs, then my husband bought me a silhouette and I cut my painting time in half. I had the pleasure of making these signs for my friend Jen, who just redid her family room. When the letters are in place, I paint over them with my base color whipped cream. This helps to keep the letters crisp when the vinyl is removed. When dry, I paint on my black top coat. Now, you could just paint the sign black and add the white vinyl lettering and leave it at that, but I prefer the look of paint versus the vinyl. Plus, I'm going to distress this, which is much easier with painted words than with the vinyl words. And of course, you always want to paint your sides. Now that the black paint is almost dry, I peel up the letters. You can see that the letters are crisp thanks to that extra coat of whipped cream paint we did over top of the vinyl. I love pilling up the vinyl. It's one of my favorite parts. It can be a little tricky at times to get those letters peeled up. But there's something really satisfying about it.
I realized that the dot on my eye is missing, so I just add one by dipping a pencil eraser in my paint and pulling it slightly to the right above the eye in everything. Next, I start my distressing by hitting the edges with a sanding block. On the very corners, I'd like to take away a little more paint because that's where the sign would naturally be worn if this were old. And then I'll go right over the lettering and distress the letters too. Then with a paper towel, I'll just wipe away all that sanding dust. And before distressing my second plaque, I'll hit that dot over the eye with a heat gun just to make sure it's good and dry. And now I just repeat the same process on my second board, making sure that I get the edges and in those corners that I get the extra paint off to make it really look warm. To add some interest and a bit of detail, I add two half inch black screws to both ends of both boards. Sorry about the headshot there. I needed to get some leverage. Before adding the screws, I've drilled pilot holes. It helps to get the screws in easier. Once they were finished, we dropped them off to Jen, where I'm pleased to say they hang on the gallery wall in her family room, surrounded by photos of some of my favorite people. Sign Wednesday will be held every third Wednesday of the month at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Be sure to check out all the artists in the chain for some fun tips and inspiration. All info will be listed in the description box. If you haven't already subscribed, I would sure love it if you would. Please like, share, and tick the bell icon for notifications of upcoming videos. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica. <laughs>